One thing I want to talk about is the way the uh, great firewall works. And that is, it's, it's a very clever solution. And in fact, China should be admired because some of the other countries we deal with aren't nearly as efficient. China is able to use high capacity, high bandwidth lines to allow most people to communicate, to not have neutral content blocked. At the same time, foreign content or controversial content is blocked. The way the Chinese do this is by looking at a number of different ways of information transfer. One is the source of the information coming, what's known as the IP address. Another is the domain name. A third is specific words that are introduced in the content of the material that's coming back and forth. So by filtering the address, the domain name, and or the content, you can have three layers of blocking. What's important is that some of the solutions that are offered both by our organization, the International Broadcasting Bureau, as well as all the different sources is that they attempt to defeat these by setting up new addresses. They're new, they're not blocked. Eventually they will be. Domain names that are obscure, that haven't been entered into the library of those sites that should be blocked, and by sometimes doing keyword substitution, substituting one character for another, keeping a word the same that sounds the same but looks different so the filters can't block it. It's a continual cat and mouse game. So the goal is to find tools that work at all three levels. And that's one of the, uh, the real challenges. Uh, so far, we're being successful. But as we become better with our tools, as the various individual organizations become better, the Chinese government becomes more sophisticated. One of the latest things that's coming out is uh, context filtering. Or is, for instance, if you use the word democracy, in a negative context, the information can fly through the firewall. If you use it in what we would say a pro-democracy sense, it would be filtered. So as the tools presented by the Chinese government become more sophisticated, so our tools also have to become more sophisticated.